What you drinking, Barnaby Jones? Oh, I hope the mic picked that up. <laughs> Back to our stupid racks we needed some corbin i had fajitas for lunch was it good quite good what did you get from baja fresh i've never eaten there yeah, and you can follow us on instagram and twitter it's oh, so okay, juicy oh, ring the bell to be part of the notification squad bang follow us on a personal youtube channel you want to see my instant superhero she's called rat boy ready you've done that rat boy <laughs> nope still don't like it uh, today we are doing a movie review. Rick, you were supposed to watch a movie. I was. Ah. Oh well. Hilarious. Oh. But oh, yes, I'm we... totally confused now. I thought it was stand up. I thought it was a movie review. Are we doing a song? Yes. Great. Uh, Let's do our review in the form of a song. I don't know. I guess that fits. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are reviewing the. Hindi, I believe, more of an independent drama. Sure feels like uh, it. Comedy drama is what it's called. Comedy. And con dehi. <laughs> it's like French. And con dehi. It's, it's French and Yiddish. <laughs> Have you seen and the film And con dehi? And con dehi. <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Uh, and con dehi. And dehi. And con dehi. And con dehi. Uh, and, and con dehi. And this is uh, directed and written by Raj. Raj Rajat. Rajat Kapoor? Rajat Kapoor. Um, yes. I don't know if he's part of the big Kapoor family, uh, but there's a bunch of Kapoor families. And starring... Uh, oh, it's directed by the, the brother. What? He was the director? Yeah, it looks like he's the director. Well, slap my face and call me Sally. Call me Daddy. I mean, what? What? Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to slap your face and do that. Uh, and it's starring uh, San Sanjay... Mishra, right? Shanji Mishra. Yes, correct. Hunter Spence for review. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Short film. Uh, and then uh, come on back if you'd like to be spoiled. You're a naughty little boy. I'm about to spank you. Consensually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's important. Rick, that's your no, initial thoughts. That's no laughing matter. My initial thoughts. Uh, R, S. That's, those are my name initials. Uh, M, Q, R, P, P, Initial P, thoughts P. on the film, Rick. Oh, I thought you just wanted some of my thoughts on, on initials. Uh, I liked it. Mm -hmm. I didn't love it. Gotcha. I liked it. Okay. Uh, the only things about it that I didn't love were some of the pacing to the middle point kind of got a little stodgy for me. I actually agree with you. Yeah? Um, it was just, just some I think pacing it, issues in the middle. There's a lot I really enjoyed about it. There's more I liked than, um, than I didn't like, and, for sure. We'll definitely get into it, but yeah. I feel like it might have gotten away from itself. The, the main thing that I was interested in, which it was this whole theory, right, right. of him questioning everything correct which is great his the, his particular journey that he was taking in the first half of the film yes and i feel like the they first act kind, i mean they would they would kind of just go on about life and, and and the daughter's wedding right and i just feel like at that part even though like not that it's bad or anything it's just no, I, I felt like it was less interesting than his journey i agree and i know they had to bring it back because the initial start of the film you think what you're on a ride for is this whole thing of the family saying that you guys can't be together and these two kids love each other. Mm -hmm. And then it turns out that it's actually, oh, it's the dad's journey. And they brought that back, which I'm glad and they needed to do to see mm -hmm. where he goes with it. But yeah. yeah. So I feel like they could have cut uh, some stuff out, uh, maybe even made it just a tad bit short, 15 minutes. Maybe. Uh, it might have helped pacing a little bit there in the middle. I don't know, but that's really my biggest gripe outside of, I don't know how I feel about the end. Uh, I, I have a, f I, but yeah, we can I talk don't have, about that. Yeah, I have, that's what I was definitely going to talk about, the yeah, end. And we're we'll, assuming, obviously, that you yeah, know the ending. But we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. I want to talk about him. I'm very glad we finally got to him. Even yeah. though we've seen him in, in small parts, I think. Yeah. And I, for what was it that we, Masan, we saw him in Masan. Yes. Uh, and I think there was something else. Uh, wasn't he in, uh, um, well, poop. Anyway. Yes, we'd been wanting to see him for a while. Yeah, we, but because I know he is, he's known for being 
a thespian. Right. He is. I think he's probably a theater actor. He sure and felt like one. He's up in. Uh, he's always mentioned. Obviously not in the star caliber. Because, right. Uh, and, but like as Pankaj, Nawaz, Niraj, and a res yeah, respected actor in, in uh, the Indian cinema. And I completely agree with that assessment. I think he's a yeah. phenomenal actor. Very I, I natural. I would love to see more of him. Yeah, very um, natural actor. So yeah, he. I think he did a phenomenal job. He was very natural, just like. Uh, this is a high praise. Uh, Irfan, he's yes. very effortless in what he's doing. It's almost he, this looks like him. Yes, I would think this was this real guy, um, and so that's 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 saying a lot. He was very very believable, and Correct. I love. I, he was he was captivating when he was on screen. Everything he did, I was really interested in. So yeah, I liked him a lot. Yeah, I did too. And that if you're wondering, we've said this before, but a working definition for acting and actually. Howard Fine has perfected the working definition for Are me. you taking his class? I actually are. <laughs> he has really perfected as as a working definition for me that I've always wanted to get synopsized. So Sanford Meisner came up with the best one that I had heard for many, many years, which was living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. Yeah. And for me, there was something that was missing in that because if you're living truthfully in the circumstances and I don't believe you, you haven't accomplished the job. Mm -hmm. So I felt you needed to add and being believable doing it to the end. Mm -hmm. But that can't be part of the definition. Yeah. Because if you're thinking about being believable, you're not acting. Yep. Because no one goes about their daily life thinking, I hope I'm believable doing what I'm doing, unless you're a con artist or a liar and you're trying to do it. Yeah. Howard Fine, his definition is living authentically within the given circumstances. Mm. And authenticity means you're authentically being the character. And if that is true, if you're authentic, You'll be truthful, and we'll we'll believe you because we'll go ah, that's authentic, that's real. Uh, the believability yeah. is in the authenticity, and they're not just imaginary circumstances; they're the given circumstances. Because yeah. if you think to yourself, "This is imaginary," there goes believability. You can't yeah. be real. He lives authentically Absolutely. in given circumstances. Yeah, I would, he's just, an actor. Please let us know. I know there's that other one where I think it's about climate change or something. It's he's, he's walking in a desert. Yeah, he's walking in the desert. Uh, and I feel like that's one that a lot of people have said was really good as well. But I know he's done a bunch of. Let us know what more of his we should watch because he. I feel like he's going to be one of those actors that we. Yeah, um, we, we really enjoy. And he for very me, very Niraji. I feel like. Yeah, very Niraji. Very. Um, a very different kind of actor, but yeah. has the same believability of like a Nasirid and Shaw. Yeah, he was very similar. He'd he'd go for the same kind of roles as yeah. Nasirid and Shaw. Um, but I feel like everybody else in this was also really really good. I liked the dynamic between him and his wife. The she was the the one that would kept. <laughs> He was the yeah, loud I, one. I, I liked that relationship a uh, lot. I liked his relationship with his daughter. I, yes. thought, she did, and I thought she did a good I job. Thought he, I, I don't know if he's an actor or a director. I thought the brother, especially the scene when they finally came back to each other yeah. and they were crying, Yeah, I thought it was really, really good. Yeah. Uh, really yeah. emotional. I found myself, interestingly, that was the thing, and this only comes from exposure and... Uh, in-depth connection to India over a period of time, I think. Mm -hmm. I think if we had seen this film a year and a half ago, what I'm about to say wouldn't have impacted me the way it did in this film. Mm. And that is understanding how important family is to Indians. Mm. Because when the brother said he was moving... Oh, yeah. You could see it on his face. What you just did right there. Mm. The, oh, yeah. I think a year and a half ago, we would have thought, okay, so the brother's moving out. Because yeah. in America, it'd be like, actually, that's probably going to be a good thing why if the you, brother leaves. Why, why are, you, are you living with this family Right, anyway? but when the brother said, I'm leaving, I had a genuine like shock to the system yeah. of, oh my goodness, they take this it is almost so like, sad. As insulting, like they did something right. you don't like living And then when it. he left, and he's just sitting there on the bed, and they're touching his feet, and they're leaving, I thought... I would never have felt the profundity of that moment mm -hmm. a year and a half ago. Yeah. Because I didn't understand what family meant in terms of how you live. Yeah. Uh, and not just because that's that's what it is in Indrani's home. I mean, her home has been a family home for 80 years. Cousins, uncles, aunts, all that. Yes. Like her cousins that she lives with, she grew up with them in the same house. They're brother and sister. Mm. Whereas my cousins are my cousins. Yeah. But because they grew up, they call each other, you know, she, that's... Didi, you know, so that sense of wow, this is so bad. It's causing the brother to leave the house. Yeah, 
was really <coughs> very believable and got so, me emotionally. So yeah, when, yeah. They, were, when they reunited, it, yeah, was, it was very great. emotional. I loved it. Uh, so I don't know if that uh, that actor, or I don't know if he's an actor, director, both. I don't know what he was first, but uh, it looks like he wrote it. So I thought the writing was very creative. That's yeah, It's a very compelling, um, and it was funny because we just watched OMG uh, as well, and that was also a kind of questioning obviously this is a very different kind and also a very different kind of film yeah this is uh, far more uh but this was really existential more, this wasn't mostly about religion this was right. like this was like socrates this yeah i'm questioning everything this was an existential crisis yeah. this wasn't a religious one yeah yeah it just started with the religion part and that uh, had to be a part of it uh um, right and it's it's very well written in that aspect uh outside of even though I don't know if I wouldn't say it's not well written in the middle part. I just feel like it could have it's been maybe pacing. tighter. I don't know. It, it could have been edited uh, in, in it, but I don't know what that was. Um, but and, and that that aspect before we get into the ending, uh, I want and the ending is part of yeah this part I'm going to talk about. I I I want to applaud the originality of this because for a film Very original. that would be coming out of uh, Bollywood and yep. Hindi, uh, it is very independent film. Not box office material. I wonder how it did. Yeah, it, you know what? I know it won a bunch of awards, but I don't know how. It especially did with the ending. So this is a stretch, but bear with me. This is kind of to me almost like not in its actual, um, not in the overall template of the film, but the message of the film and particularly how it ends. This is for me kind of like India's Birdman, so to speak. Oh, uh, okay. In terms of. The lead character is having an existential crisis, and the ending is just straight up. It's Birdman at the end. Yeah, you know, I the, here's my issue with the end, um, and maybe I'm misunderstanding it. I would have preferred, and I didn't. I, I kind of, I was kind of hoping for something different because I was like, okay, eventually he's going to be like, can I die? Can I fly? Whatever. And I was like, it's going to get to that place because right. that's that's where this theory goes. Because right. if he he doesn't know he can't fly, right? Because he's never done it, right? 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 Uh, so I was like, it's and he was saying, yeah, unless I've experienced yeah. it. Yeah. So uh, I was like, if you're gonna play this theory out, which is great, I love that. Like, this is an absurd thing that's like an older man to go through. It's like, I'm done. I'm, I'm. Are you? I know you're real because you're here. Right. If I've never met you, I, mean. I don't know if you're real. Right. right. I like that. I, I don't know if I wanted something more original, and also I. Maybe I didn't mind that as much as I minded when they said when he was falling, they said this is not a dream. Right. I would prefer them not say that. Yes. Whether this I was like I would have been fine if like I've had this dream before. Right. But don't clarify if this is a dream or not a dream. Well, I agree with that point of yeah. it. And I also <clears throat> believe it it doesn't work as well as the as the ending to Birdman. Yeah. Because throughout Birdman you're in his mind and watching reality. <coughs> Excuse me. You're watching him shift reality yeah. in his perspective. Mm -hmm. So that there's things you're watching Michael Keaton do that when no one else is around, you're like, okay, did that really happen? Or is he just thinking that's happening? And there's there's so many moments throughout Birdman where reality is yeah. pulled for you. Very different film. This yeah. never had a moment of reality feeling <laughs> until the very, very end. Yeah, so I'm. It, they're clearly saying it was real, but I think I would have preferred um, a Birdman ending. Yeah, just actually, you could have ended the same way. Just take out that line, like they said. I've had a dream of thinking I could fly, and then they said this is not a dream. Right. I would have heard them just leave that out. Yeah, you could have because at the end you'd be like, was this just a dream or did he just jump to his death? Right. I prefer those questions at the end of films. I agree with you. Rather than rather than seemingly wrap it up for you yeah. and tell you what it is, yeah. I too would have. And I, even though it said that, yeah. I still was left with something of the really. Even though they said it, yeah, I felt like I was left with really. Mm. But I prefer, I would have nitpick preference yeah. i agree i would have preferred the line not being there yeah i would have preferred that but i do i didn't, like the ending yeah yeah like i said I we're like, being very minutia here guys because like we both really liked it mm -hmm. i thought it could have been even better with these little tweaks yeah I, this is we're talking about the difference between a movie mm -hmm. that we really liked versus something that these little tweaks for us would have put it in a place of wow this is a nearly flawless kind of movie. yeah yeah absolutely and but yeah with the writing so I thought they did a really good job because I like that 
that question. It's a, it's a very absurd question, mm -hmm. but obviously it's also can be related to like, you know, religion or other things. Always, sure. I'm, I'm of the belief, always question everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I mean, not to this extent, like I've never heard a lion roar, which was a great scene. I enjoyed that scene. Yeah. They, and then they're like, we're going. They're like, where are you going? <laughs> I have, I've never heard a lion roar. I have right. to see if he roars. Well, yeah, because he goes from just having an existential crisis to actually getting to a place of total absurdist, anarchist, total... And I did enjoy Nietzsche the, the fact of... that even though he didn't want it, he developed a following. Right. I he love that. He became the religious leader. Yeah, I love that. That he wanted to leave. Right. And then obviously he realized it, but I thought it was very creative writing that is like... He became, even though he didn't mean to, the yes. thing he was trying to get out of. Yeah, like, I love that he he just did it because this is what he wanted to do. When he stands up there with the sign, mm -hmm. but then the other guys come up with their own versions of his sign with him. And he's like, well, it's the human being. <laughs> I guess this is what people do. I'm not doing this to get a following, guys. I don't yeah. want attention. I'm not talking just because I'm I'm trying to get you guys to pay attention or make things hard on you. And it was both sad and funny, his poor wife, everything she had to go through with him. But it was also beautiful because it showed that they both really loved each other. Mm -hmm. And um, some of his most beautiful moments were those moments when he wasn't talking. Like when he gives, I, it was a very sweet, probably my favorite moment of the film is when he's listening to the old music that his wife chastises him for. <laughs> But he's he's appreciating it for what it is and realizing, wow, I get to hear music. And that little moment with his daughter when he lets her know you can you can marry him. Mm -hmm. I thought that moment for him, I believed 100 percent. Talk about living authentically in given circumstances. That was the dad having this existential crisis who in this moment of realizing what things really matter in this world, realizes my daughter matters and the love she feels matters. So, and he didn't even have to say anything. Mm -hmm. He just had to, yeah. Beautiful, that was he my did, favorite He did a phenomenal film. job when he didn't even have to talk for yeah. uh, a third of the film, Yeah, uh, which was great. So I, I really want to applaud this film. I, I thought the, the right, did you score it, everything? Did, did you do your little thing? I didn't do my thing, you but I would, if I was, I would, nothing would have scored under an eight for me. Mm -hmm. So this would have been B plus A minus, yeah, probably, probably would have ended up with an A minus for this. Yeah, I'd definitely give it an A minus. Yeah. I thought it, with those little tweets, like if I was making it, I thought I would have kept a lot of stuff the exact same. I would have probably change the pacing in the middle a tad. That's it. And then I would have taken out taken that, that one line at the end. the end. Yeah. And and this is a money thing, and it's forgivable. The visual effects on the jump. Yeah. It's okay. But yeah, it, this is not a big budget thing. No. That's probably where totally all their budget went. It was, was to, get to that, it, that final. <laughs> I would, I bet. All they spent on the film to that final scene was the same amount they spent on the CGI on that final scene. So, Absolutely. totally forgivable, worthy worthy watch. So yeah, if you haven't seen it, I hope you're not here because we've spoiled a we, lot of we it. We ruined it and we kind of ruined Birdman a little bit. Oh yeah, see Birdman. <laughs> see Birdman, Birdman. magnificent Especially film. if you're into filmmaking or acting. Yeah, or it's theater. theater. It's an actor's It's an actor's, it's an actor's movie. Um, but definitely a good film. Let us know other from him, the director or actor. Yeah. Uh, Hold on, what else he's done? Rajat Kapoor. Well, yeah, yeah. there's a trifecta on this. He writes, directs, and acts, and, in, it. And acts in it. So, uh, really nice. Hold on. I just want to see. He's in Mulk, which we've reacted to. Perry. He's in Perry. Kapoor and oh, Sons. he's the dad. Yes. That's right. God, we're dumb. Yep. God, we're so dumb. Our stupid reactions. We, uh, we, we know what we're talking about here when it comes to the dumb factor. And he was really good in that film, too. Yeah, he was. Um... So yeah, so it looks like he's an actor. Is was this one of his first directorial debuts? Well, it's for a writing, directing, acting film. Hold on, director. Really, really nice. Really, really nice job. Okay, so he's he's directed for a while. He directed short, 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 short. His first feature. And guys, I can't. I've never done it in film, but I've done it in theater, and I don't ever want to do it again. What? I know, I'm sure it may be easier in film, but I don't know. What? To direct yourself acting. I did it with Hamlet. Mm. I hated it because I couldn't take the director hat off. Yeah. I couldn't fully be Claudius because I was constantly thinking about the cues, the, who's coming on when, notes to actors as they're doing their thing. I, yeah. I just couldn't take the directing hat off. Yeah, it's definitely a, 
it's definitely a skill set. Yeah. I don't know if it's different in film. I haven't done it in film, but uh, yeah, I don't know that I. I don't know that I. Yeah. Would like. That let anyway. us know what other films we should watch next down below, and let us know what you thought of it as well. And yes. also why we're why we're why we're idiots because I'm sure a bunch of you are gonna unsubscribe because of this one. Yeah, because we didn't even though, the review you wanted. <laughs>